Good day YouTube. This is a comparison video between MX Linux on the left and Pop! OS on the right, so grab your stein of coffee and let's get started. So starting off here, we have Linux or search, I should say MX Linux 19.3 on the left and Pop! OS 20.10 on the right here. So if I was to have a little bit of a look at these or maybe give them a little bit of an explanation, on the left hand side we have MX Linux which is actually based on uh, Debian, so Debian stable. Whereas on the right hand side we've got Pop! OS uh, 20.10 which as the name may suggest to you, sound familiar, is actually based on Ubuntu there. Now, some some of the probably the key differences here is in the the much more bleeding edge kernel that Pop OS will use in comparison to this stable Debian based kernel here on the left hand side for MX Linux. Uh, but moving on, the desktop environment also a little bit different. Now we are running the default desktop environment on MX Linux here. So it's actually running the XFCE desktop environment there. A little bit stylized to be very uh, MX Linux-esque. Linux but on the right hand side, Pop! OS actually runs what I consider a more uh, default GNOME version. A little bit different to the, uh, the customized GNOME version on Ubuntu itself. Not the biggest fan of this one, just in terms of simple navigation. A lot of people don't like it, myself included, but you know, it is what it is. But uh, if we move across to, let's say, the uh, file managers, we'll see we've got a bit of a lightweight one here for MX Linux. Uh, uh, it's Thuna 1.8.x, which is nice to see, full and functional at least. And on the right hand side, as you'd expect, very similar, but stylized in these Pop! OS colors a little bit customized in that way. It is actually still running the GNOME files just like Ubuntu there as well. If we were to jump across to see what sort of RAM usage we're, we're uh, sort of utilizing here, just because these are both really booted up from scratch, nothing else is loaded in the background, we can see that MX Linux is actually running on about 450 megabytes of RAM on for the operating system on boot up there. Whereas Pop! OS by comparison Call the skin as being the reason, if you will, but it's actually running at almost 800 megabytes, so almost double the the RAM usage. So, as you could understand, if you want to, you know, use Linux on an older machine, you might probably stick with MX Linux in this case. Yeah. But uh, that's pretty much it guys, that's just a super simple quick fun video comparison between the two, MX Linux on the left and Pop! OS on the right. Thanks for watching, please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button and I do hope to see you guys there in the next one. Cheers guys, ciao.